In today's video, we're going over the most essential shoes for the quiet luxury look. And the quiet luxury look is a very subtle and elegant look. So that also means that the shoes are going to be very minimal, but they're going to be from high quality materials. And of course, there will be no logos at all. The list is in no particular order. So let's start with shoe number one. The first shoe on the list is also my personal favorite and that's going to be a nice pair of loafers. And in this case, because we're talking about the essentials, I'm actually talking about a penny loafer. Because of course, if you already have a penny loafer, then you might get creative with different colors or with different types, such as a Tesla loafer or maybe a Horsebit loafer. But I think the most essential type of loafer would be a penny loafer. It's extremely versatile. It works with business casual. It works on a wedding. It's just a fantastic all-rounder. And in my opinion, the most important color that you should get in the beginning would be dark brown simply because it's the most versatile color and in my opinion i think for the quiet luxury look the suede option would be the better choice simply because even though the regular penny loafer in leather is absolutely beautiful in suede leather i think it looks even more elegant and subtle and also just different from what you normally see and when it comes to prices if you're looking for a high quality penny loafer then usually they start at around 200 dollars if they're on sale maybe you can find them at around 150 dollars and on the second hand market many times you can find them for around 20 to $60. To give you an example, I bought these ones here from Shoe Passion. They are made in Portugal. I bought them for around $60 secondhand. I think they are absolutely beautiful. And I also bought a pair of Tots loafers in suede secondhand for $25. So it is definitely possible to find some really high quality shoes if you're on a little bit of a budget. But if you want to buy them new, a really good brand is going to be Mirman or Merman. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Not sponsored by the way. I just think they make fantastic shoes. The next shoe on the list is going to be a nice pair of dress shoes. Again, ideally in dark brown. And this is going to be a shoe that pretty much every man should have in his wardrobe, simply because this is something that you can wear to work. You can wear it when you go to weddings, to any kind of formal event, if it's in a really dark brown. And the reason why I recommend brown is that for the quiet luxury look, black is usually not the most common color. Of course, you can also pull it off. But I think a dark brown is going to be the most versatile option because you can wear it with many different types of pants and also many different types of sweaters and outerwear and in my opinion of course this is going to be very very specific but i do think that an oxford looks better than a derby in most cases especially if you're starting out then go for an oxford and the difference is going to be in the area of the laces because as you can see it's closed over here and with the derbies you can see it's open over here. I think in general, just the entire flow and the look of the shoe with an Oxford usually looks a little bit more classy and elegant. And that's why if you can find it, then go for a nice looking Oxford shoe like the ones I have right here. You can see these ones are in a very dark brown. And this is a shoe that's going to last you many years and that you can wear on many different occasions. Similar to penny loafers, a good pair of dress shoes normally starts at around $200. And again, if they're on sale, maybe you can find them for $150. And on the secondhand market, you're able to find them starting at around $30, usually somewhere around the $50 range. And again, for a nice pair of Oxfords, a good brand to look at is going to be Mirman. The next essential shoe for the quiet luxury look are going to be boots. And here you have a couple of options. You can go for chaka boots, dress boots, or Chelsea boots. And in my opinion, I think all of them are fantastic options. And for example, a chaka boot can also look really nice when it's in suede. And normally boots are going to be a little bit more pricey than Oxfords or penny loafers. So usually they're going to start somewhere around $250. Again, if you're lucky, you can find them on sale maybe at around $170. But on the secondhand market, it's probably going to be somewhere around $50 to $80 for a good pair of boots. And again, for boots, I think the best color to start with would be a nice shade of dark brown. Also because you're mainly going to wear them in winter or in fall, and especially after a day of snow. And at some point it's going to be very mushy and gray, and you don't really want to have a lot of light colored shoes. So that's why a really dark brown boot is going to be your best trend in winter time. And also if you live in a really cold area or you just easily have cold feet, then try to get one with an inner lining. Or you can also buy some thermal insoles that are going to keep your feet nice and warm. And I think that a pair of nice boots is something that makes every man look better. The next shoe is the most commonly associated one with the quiet luxury look. If you type in quiet luxury anywhere, this is the type of shoe you're going to find. And of course, I'm talking about yard loafers. And one thing that's really cool about this shoe is that it works really well when you wear long pants and when you wear shorts. Because every shoe so far, you can't really wear it when you wear shorts. If you wear something like an Oxford or a boot, it looks really weird. And even suede loafers, in my opinion, are better than regular loafers. But I think they are still not the best option if you like to wear shorts. So yard loafers can be a very versatile option. The only concern for me would be the sole. Because, for example, if we look at the ones right here from Aurelia or Aurelian, then you can see that the sole is 
very light. It's from a rubber. And this is something that's, I don't know how long it's going to look great and, and last well, because this is something that's going to be very difficult to clean. And eventually at some point you have to replace the shoe. And I don't think that you can resole those type of shoes. So you probably have to throw them away and get a new pair of shoes. And with these shoes, you can get a bit more creative with color. And the reason is because you're going to wear these shoes mostly during summertime. So that basically means that in summertime, you're probably going to be a lot more colorful than in winter when it's all dark outside and gray and, and mushy on the road. You don't really want to get your white shoes wet, for example, or your white pants. And in my opinion, combined with the penny loafer, those are probably the two perfect summer shoes for the quiet luxury look. And these shoes are going to start at around $200, $250 if you look at Pini Parma, for example, and at Aurelia, for example, they're even 315 euros, which is probably around $340. So they're quite pricey. And I think with the build quality compared to the Penny Loafer, which is usually completely good gear welded, or also the Oxfords, which are $200, I don't think it's the best deal compared to those. But again, it's a beautiful shoe. And if you're going for the quiet luxury look and you have the budget, then I definitely recommend you to go for it. The final shoe on the list and then we're going to the optional shoes are going to be sneakers. And I put it at the end of the list because I know that a lot of guys don't like to wear shorts and a nice pair of minimal sneakers, in my opinion, works the best when you're wearing shorts. It can also work when you wear long pants, but in my opinion, when you're wearing long pants, then usually a penny loafer or any other type of shoe on the list is going to be the better option. But a pair of minimal sneakers is going to be one of the most comfortable shoes for summertime when you're wearing shorts. There's a couple of things that you want to keep in mind. And that is, of course, that you want to get them in leather or in suede leather. You want to have no logo, of course, and you also want to have a thin sole. For example, the ones I have right here, they are from Herring Shoes. I bought them on sale and you can see they have a very thin sole. They are very neutral. There is no logo on them and I think they are quite nice. This is something that works really well when you're wearing shorts and everything inside is also leather. So I think it's a really nice quality shoe. The best color to start with would be either white or off-white because it's going to be very versatile and minimal sneakers usually start at around $150 if you buy them new. So let's look at a couple of good and bad examples when it comes to sneakers. And of course, in the end, it's up to personal taste. But in my opinion, in this look here from Pini Palmer, going with either boots or oxfords or loafers or yard loafers would be the better choice. And I think it's the same in this case. It doesn't look bad. I think it's still a nice look, but I think another type of shoe would be the better option. But if we look at this look here from Suit Supply, it's a very elevated casual look. I think it actually works quite nice, even though the white color is a big contrast to the dark navy. In this case, I think it actually works quite well. So those were, I think, in my opinion, the most essential shoes for the quiet luxury look. But if you already have them or if you don't fully agree with my list, there's also a couple of optional shoes that you can get mostly for summertime. And the first shoe is going to be Esper Drills. They're very minimal and breathable and light and they are a very nice summer shoe especially for the beach and as long as you don't have to walk around in them all day. Another option would be the classic boat shoe and that's because not everybody agrees with the look of the boat loafer. I think it can be a nice shoe but it's for me personally not an everyday shoe. For example, penny loafers are something that I wear about 70 or 80% of the time, but a boat shoe is something that I wear only occasionally. And then last but not least, we also have the classic driving shoe. These ones are secondhand by Tots. And the reason why I put them on the optional list is because these are shoes that you're not going to wear that often. Because, I mean, if you look at the sole, this sole is gonna wear out very fast. Again, these are called driving shoes. They're not really meant to walk around the city. If you're a tourist, for example, and you're going to another city and you're walking around for six, hours probably not the best shoes for that but they can be very minimal and elegant i think they are a nice pair of shoes this is something that's really nice again if you're driving of course or if you're on holiday and you're at a resort or at the beach for example but not really if you want to walk around with them all day i hope you enjoyed this list if you did then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to learn how to make your shoes smell great even in summertime then click on this video right here